Hello everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. Yes, it's me, I'm your Bim Sola, and you're welcome to my YouTube channel where I'll be teaching you guys how to play Top and Drum. So if you have gotten your drum and you don't know how to play, you can just search for I'm your Bim Sola and you'll see videos on how to play Top and Drum and I guarantee you, you will understand 100%. So guys, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also click the notification button for you to know when I post a new video and also please like comment and share thank you guys god bless you okay I'm back again thank you guys so where do I start from yes today we are going to learn a lot like I, I mean a lot yes the first thing we are going to learn is you know we are going to talk about I'm going to talk about stopping drum and also the second thing is um identification yes I mean the part that is made up of talking drum and also we i'm going to tell you um um the major sounds on talking drum yes i'm going to tell so we, we are learning um identification and also the major sounds yeah so let's get started okay guys yes this is talking drum as you can see so what is talking drum yes yeah, so what's talking drum yeah talking drum is a drum that talks yes it says whatever you want it to say. Maybe, for instance, you want it to say, Asho, it's me to say it. Maybe, for instance, you want it to say, um, Abeko, yes, it's me to say. So, it says whatever you want to say by playing it. Talking drum is being used in most occasions these days. You see talking drum in um, churches, burial, um, wedding, birthday, naming ceremony and all of that so guys that's it so now let's go to the second part of it which is the identification yes if you are talking drama and you don't know this ah you are wrong bro because this is this part is very important for you to know so where do i start from now let's start from the face this is called our drill can i hear that say Say that for me. Our Odrilu. Yes. Um, it is made up of um skin, good skin. Yes. And this is where you will beat. Yeah, after beating it, it brings out the sounds. So you beat it with your opa. This is called opa or congoilu. Yes, what do I say? Opa or congoilu. Alright, sir. Yeah. This part is called flap. But we call it oja or agbeko. Yes, you put it on your shoulder like this. Can you see that? Yes, agbeko. And this one here, this one here is called oshon. Yeah, I call it tuna because oshon brings out the main sound when you use your hand to press it. So it's called oshon, or you call it in English as tuna. Yes. And what again, what again? Yes, the one inside of it here is called Odo. This here, right here, is called Odo. Yes, if you notice, the Odo is inside. Why? Because all this thing here, they can't stand if this Odo is not here. They will be balanced if the Odo is not here. So this is called Odo. Now, there's a rope around this ocean. This rope is called Idele. And what's the delay used for? The delay is used when your drum is hard. Maybe it's, it's really hard or it's not bringing out the sound you want it to bring out. So then you are going to use this delay, which is called rope, to tie, you tie it around the ocean. Yes, like something like this. Something like this. And you are going to, after tying it around it, you tighten it very well. Look at it. You tighten it very well. So look at it. For like 10 seconds, depends on how hard your drum is for like seconds then after that you release it then you play it it's going to bring out the sound you want it to bring out all right guys what again do i need to, to tell you yes there's a rope around this place this rope is called organ it's also made of um animal skin you you, you cut it um what's it called scissors yes and then it's going to be in form of tiny rope all right now this year this red thing you're seeing is called a gi. Yeah, what do I say? A gi. And um, this a gi is made up of leather. 
or do I say leather? All right, what do you need to know? Yes, so let's run it again. This is our drill, our drill, or ja, or ja. This right here, or shun, or shun. This right here, or do. Look at it. This inside of this is or do. Then the tiny root here is or gone. You got it, guys. Or gone. Then this one here is a G. Then the rope round or shun is a delay. Can you see a delay? Then this here is or pa or congoilo. Thank you, guys. All right. The third part of it is um, the, the sounds. The sounds. Yes, the sounds on talking drum. Yeah, we have do, remi, fa, so, la, si, do on talking drum. But the three major sounds are do, re, and mi. Can you say that? Do, re, mi. Can you say that again one more time? Do, re, mi. So how do you get do, re, mi? How do you get the sound? So easy. So, so, so guys, um, if you are using um, left hand, if you are used to left hand, your drum will be on your right shoulder and your stick will be placed like this. Can you see that? But if you are using your right hand, your stick will be on the right while your drum will be on the left shoulder and your stick will be placed like this. Can you see it? Can you see it? Look at it. All right, guys. Now, I'm using left, so my stick will be on my left hand and my drum will be on the shoulder right shoulder all right guys so how do we play do this is a simple definition for do do you will raise your arm up look at it now why raising your arm up if you play it it needs to bring out do sound look at it can you see that can you hear that you can play your own too can i play it again look at it my hand is up is raised up and the next sound is re so how do we get re re you press your arm on it a little bit you press your arm on it a little bit now look at it can i play that for you can you hear that can i play it again again yes you press your arm on it a little bit now me which is the last sound how do we get that you press your arm on it very well look at it very well now let me play it can you see that so do you you raise your arm up re you press your arm on it a little bit then me you press your arm on it very well now let's try that re me again do re me all right guys Thank you very much for today we have come to the end of today's lesson and please guys i want you to practice this very well because in the next lesson i'm going to teach you guys on something different entirely so please don't forget to like this video please like like and also comment you can also share it and also please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel guys i beg you please subscribe subscribe and Joe, and Joe, and subscribe and also press the notification button so you can know when i post a new video thank you guys god bless you i love you all